Hey guys, Dave from Former Glory Salvage here on taking out an old Schlage lock set. So first thing you want to do is take the knob off with that little button. It's only on one side of the lock. So push it in and then slide the, uh, the knob off. It'll take a little wiggling, but they come right off pretty easily. Now this one here is probably the worst case scenario because it's got an unreasonably large amount of paint on it. So this is probably about as tough as it's going to get. Um, in this case I'm peeling off all of the paint just from around the uh, the one side that you have to start on so there's there's gonna be one end that you start on the same side as you take the knob off of and there's a tiny uh, little spring clip which I'm pointing to right here um, you can push that in you don't necessarily need to it just kinda keeps it in place um, the real trick is you wanna get that little there's an indentation on the, uh, the escutcheon there right about the seven o'clock position and you get underneath that and then you can kind of pry the plate or the escutcheon off but in this case I'm just working through it to uh, you know get the paint loose um, that way it can separate and, and come off which you'll see in a second but I'm just kind of working around it uh, normally you can just get under that one spot and pop it off but here I have to kind of work around the perimeter and break all that paint off because uh, it also, all the paint right in the center there, uh, it's also kind of holding it in place. So just kind of working around and, and wiggling that off, which you'll see it just eventually pops right off. And like I said, on a clean lock uh, without tons of paint on it, this would pop right off and then you could slide it off like you'll see in a second. But old paint, people love to paint and paint and paint. Anyway, there you go. Pop the escutcheon off. And next is the retainer plate, which holds the, the actual lock assembly into the door. So there's just two uh, slotted screws, hold that in, you just take those two out and it's basically like a clamp that holds everything together. But if you take those two screws out, then you take that plate off and then you can take the, uh, the lock or the latch, I guess, uh, assembly off the door. So same thing here with all that paint. Um, it slides over the center and because there's a bunch of paint on that center part I kind of had to work it start up one side and just sort of pry it away uh, same thing normally this would slide right off um, but you know sometimes you have to kind of finagle and get it started on one side and slide it off so here it comes um, that'll come right off and then basically you can just push or pull do both that latch assembly right out and same thing here with that paint it's kind of holding it on so eventually it pops right out and then the last thing to come out is which I guess is also the latch um, not the strike so I don't know I call this a latch too this is the other side that engages the strike uh, here I have to chisel away into the flathead screws just use a nice sharp flathead screwdriver with a hammer and um, use the chisel point and kind of get in there and, and knock some of the paint out of the slots to to get those screws out uh, and then here I'm just taking them out um, again this without all the paint you could just take these screws take them off and push it out with your thumb from from the back being that this has like 30 layers of paint on it I had to kinda give it a little tap from the back with a hammer nothing crazy because you don't want to mess up the assembly on the inside um, it's all pretty substantial metal but you know you don't want to go crazy on it um, even had to use a little screwdriver with a hammer in the back to just drive it but you can see it coming loose finally and then uh, pop it right out and peel all the gobs of paint away uh, and then that just pulls right out so with both of these pieces removed um, I'm going to show you so you kind of understand how the, the things fit together, maybe before you get into taking the door apart. It's a really cool design where that latch just slides into the lock assembly. Um, the design's like 100 years old, so it's, it's pretty effective. But you can just take a look at this. Slides right in and engages. Um, and here I have the, uh, the, the lock is engaged on the one side. And you'll see when I pop it free, then everything works. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to like and subscribe.